Wednesday noon walk and as you can see fog oh another dog walk. so yesterday funny thing uh, we went one bus stop uh, further and then went you know on the opposite side going through the field it was sunny day yesterday cold but sunny you know today it's cold and foggy i was doing my you know walk and talk we met like six seven dogs three four three to four guard dogs were outside you know by their houses you know i recording everything and the first you know almost 10 minutes video is done when i got you know message you know the video stopped recording you know video cannot be saved due to insufficient memory space great and then i when we you know came back home oh a little bit icy um yeah i had what 30 plus videos so yeah of course majority were shorts but yeah because now i'm you know filming in this um white angle 0 0.5 uh, zoom the and the highest possible resolution um, so the maximum length of such video is 14 minutes because then it's the video reaches the maximum size which is I think 1.5 giga so yeah oh yeah and of course today we are a little bit late one hour with one hour delay let's say we went to the shop you know for our, our usual two week grocery haul and then one uh, colleague uh, called yeah let's go for a coffee so yeah we went of course i don't drink coffee so i got cocoa you know as a kid So, of course, Lisa was excited and angry at the same time. I should be walking. So, today I said, okay, let's go. Through Perjan. But we will not go through Podutik. Um, the topic that I was uh, explaining yesterday, and I will repeat today, was how, you know, the world of influencers has reached Slovenia and how they are negatively effect, affecting, affecting uh, people's lives. So, you know, we have, you know, Slovenian versions of popular reality TV shows, you know, different dating formats, you know, farmer, Six wife, a uh, Slovenian version is Ljubezen uh, Akmeti, love on the farm, at the farm. Um, then we have, you know, Slovenian version of uh, Bachelor, Bachelorette is uh, Sanski Moški, Sanska Ženska. So Sanski Moški is dreamy man, dreamy woman, you know. We had those, or we had have them i don't know i don't follow them you know and then we have you know like real wives of i don't know slovenia ljubljana i don't know we have something like that and you know now we have a couple of these uh, let's say participants that are just you know recasting because it's i think same company you have to take into the consideration that Slovenia has, you know, two million people. 
living here. Two, two point one, something like that. Two point two. So the pool from where they get, you know, people willing to participate in this, you know, scripted fui tolizi, fui, yeah, fui. Uh, you know, it's small, and you know, now you have, but it's the same. Let's say thing in American versions, you know. Some people are just switching from one show to another or they are in multiple seasons of the same show. And so we have, you know, similar thing now, now going on here in Slovenia. People that are famous, famous in, you know, quotation, and you know, and now they are considered influencers, you know, because they were part of some reality TV show. And of course, reality TV, as we know, it's scripted. Everything is fake, nothing is real. To some degree. And so now in some time in uh, January, one Slovenian media uh, company, well, they are they are web web newspaper, let's say. Um, wrote an article regarding three of such influencers, all female and how they were promoting one crypto coin, crypto token, something like that, you know, saying to Lizzie Leo, but ne I don't know why she has to walk so close to the edge. Um, you know, they were promoting through their different social media accounts, platforms, you know, this crypto business how good it is, how real it is, how they will make some fortune from, you know, investing, you know. We have also invested our own money, you know, two euro, uh, 2,000 euros. And of course, people d jump on their bandwagon, you know. And of course, what happened, it was typical, you know, pump and dump operation scam and now uh, previous week the these influencers you know were you know sought for their comments regarding this business because you know several i don't know how many the police is currently investigating how many people were scammed so, you know, and of course now, yeah, we were paid for do that, uh, to do this. We don't know what is going on. We don't know what crypto is. You know, we, we didn't have any knowledge regarding this, you know. And of course, majority of, I think all of this, all of these three, Lizzie Grivaches. Oh, there is a dog. I don't know if you can see it black. So yeah, well, one one was you know described as a successful businesswoman, you know, running a, I think, a company that her mother created, and it's not like a big company. Agreeval easy. Now we will stay here and watch each other for another hour or so. Pretty. And yeah, you know, now they are saying that they were deceived, you know, that they know nothing. You know, they don't know their elbow from their, you know, I don't know what, knee. I don't know what is the correct saying in English. And of course, this is, you know, happening all over the world. When people are following some influencers who don't have any clue what they are saying 
they are completely uneducated in basically everything they are famous because they were part of some show or because they dated someone and now they make money you know with i don't know semi-nude photos you know and promoting different stuff and yeah now this you know let's say development trend has also reached slovenia and i don't know if the police will if there is even a possibility to charge these influencers in you know scamming or in fraud let's say it's more let's say it's, we have nice legal term for this kind of activity it's a fraud so yeah, we will see and you know as much as i don't like oh such a great building such a nice building i always when we are walking here i admire this you know i prefer this kind of style you know wood and stone compared to modern version and yeah you know even i let's say sympathize with the people that got scammed that invested the money and that scammer just you know disappeared <sighs> on the other side if you're so stupid that you are for, that you are taking financial advice which is of course not a financial advice as they have to say from a person that you know that is not educated that has no experience in this field and yet just because she says or in other cases him says something he will say something you know and you invest your money that you don't have you know to throw around basically you deserve it and the dog is outside okay let's end on this point this yes 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 yes